and I need to update my Apple ID setting. Please stop reminding me. Hello, friends, family, and everyone in between. My name is Kaylin Edwards, and welcome to my very so random channel. Of course, disclosure, you will hear a lot of growling, feet tapping, crunching, just any noise that is very inconvenient and just over the top, that's because I have two dogs, Leo and Piper, who are my babies. Don't let anyone tell you differently, especially my husband. But yeah, today I'm going to talk to you guys about plotting for my book. So I mentioned in an earlier video that I am in the middle of my book. I'm still in the middle of my book. I'm aiming for 20 chapters only because that number has a significance in the whole premise of my book. By the way, I'm writing a young adult fantasy book, so a lot of the things I'm gonna say are gonna pertain to just really my personal situation. It's not going to be based on a bunch of research or based on a bunch of expertise, because I have, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know if you could call me an expert in any of this. I mean, I'm in the midst of it and I'm a beginner writer, so no, I guess not. But yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys about plotting. And if you've seen any videos by other authors, which I hope you have before watching mine, there are two different types of plotters. There are pantsers and those who actually plot their things. And I think that's what they call them is pantser or plotter. There we go. See, I even had to pull up my phone just to make sure. And I need to update my Apple ID setting. Please stop reminding me. And as much as I would like to sit here and tell you guys that I am one or the other, I honestly have no clue. At first, I was definitely a pantser. I did not plot my story. I just wrote based on what I like envisioned in my head for my character. And sometimes I would be working on chapter two. Then I would write a scene. I literally have a scene written out for like my second book. Cause my book is, my novel is gonna be a series. In my head, I plan for it to be a series and I want to get traditionally published, but we will see how that works out. I have yet to go through that process. But yeah, I have a scene written out in like book two. I'm still on book one. And in the beginning, yes, I was definitely, I would say I was definitely a pantser. I did not want to plot my book just thinking about plotting it. I was like, I really don't want to do it. And like my uncle, who also is a writer, gave me like character sheets for character development and all these like packets. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not filling out any of that. And uh-uh, uh-uh. I thought about it. I would look at it and be like, oh, that's cool. This is like, you know, like D&D &D when you pick out your character and stuff like that. It's that way more intense. I really don't want to do it and so I didn't do it but I still I think I still have the packet somewhere but now I will say that I am starting to plot more it wasn't until I think I got to chapter eight in my book that I was like you know what I really need to plot this stuff out and I did that I started plotting once I got to chapter eight and I realized the angle that I was going with my book and the situations that I were taking my characters through and I went back and revised my previous chapters and just go with the flow of how I envisioned it to end and the thing with that is like even though I start plotting at chapter 8 I would plot to like chapter 11 and then stop and wait until I got close to that and then start plotting for the next couple more chapters and stuff like that like I didn't do it all the way to the end but now I have and I want to show you guys what I have, like how I do it. Cause I, I know there's different ways that people can plot. In the way that I saw one of the girls that I watch plot her story, I was like, you know what? I like that. I love something that I did in high school and college a lot was I would color code my notes. And for some reason that just makes it easier to look at and it's fun and it's just, it draws my eyes way more than just doing like black and white. This is mine. I don't know how well you can see it. As you can see, I have green, pink, and blue little sticky notes. And they are separated into chapters. So like, this is my first chapter right here. And you see how it's only three sticky notes? It's because I pretty much knew how I wanted that chapter to go. And it was just pretty much me going back and being like, okay, this happened in that chapter. Cause again, I started doing this when I was on chapter eight. And the further into my book I get, the more sticky notes 
there are for each chapter. And on the side, I have just little reminders of like things that happen or things I want to happen that aren't really part of the plot, but more just like, hey, you know, when you're writing this, don't forget that back in this chapter, this happened, or, you know, we added an element and this is going to, you know, really play a part in this scene. So like, for instance, I say, doesn't see woman anymore. This little side note, it says doesn't see woman anymore. And to you guys, it's just like, okay. To you guys, that probably doesn't mean a load of anything, but to me, I know exactly what that means. It reminds me that when I'm writing it, even though it's probably gonna be not even a full sentence of information, it needs to be put in, in there because it did play a part in my earlier chapters. So that is how I do mine. I feel like color coding each chapter is nice. Uh, again, it is nice to look at. And when I'm working on a chapter, I just tape them and then start typing. I don't know what all you guys probably do or have done with plotting your stories, but I feel like this has worked for me. Again, I still don't know if I'm a plotter or a pantser. I feel like I'm somewhere in between. Based on what I have heard other authors describe it as and like the type of people that they are i feel like i'm a combination because as much as i love doing this because it definitely has helped me with staying focused again there were certain times where i just didn't include that in my story and it would be something totally different yeah you know i started late i was on chapter eight before i even started plotting and i definitely hell no i'm definitely not doing those character sheets that is not happening I mean, unless someone's paying me to do it, I really cannot imagine myself sitting down and filling out pages upon pages about my characters because the ones that are truly, truly important, I feel like I've known them forever. I do have a Word doc where I have information say because I am using a creature that is referenced in multiple texts the Christian Bible, the Jewish Bible, it is referenced in those books. And so I'm trying to, I'm not saying that I'm definitely sticking to how they're described there, but I am taking different elements out of there and applying it to my characters. So I do have a word doc that I has nothing to do with my plotting, but it has helped me with developing my enemies in my book and understanding them because they aren't human. I don't know, maybe when I finish my book, I'll, I'll talk more about it. But right now, because I am really in the midst of all of it and creating things and going through my process, I kind of want to protect that right now until I really am set in stone with my book and I finish it and I can really talk about it from a more educated stance instead of being like, you know, maybe I'm gonna do this and maybe I'm gonna do that. Because again, I do want to get traditionally published and I don't know, what if that happens and it ends up selling? And then you guys come back and watch these videos and you're like, oh, you did not put that in your book. And I'll be like, I know, I know. So yeah, I'm not going to talk uh, too much about my book, but I'm willing definitely to talk about my writing process. Even though this is the first book that I plan on finishing by March 20th. That is my husband's birthday and that's the deadline that I have put myself on because that is the only way I will finish writing my book. If you have any tips for plotting or you have your own ways of plotting, let me know in the comment section. I would love to read those. Cause again, I am the only person that I know personally that is writing a book. I, I mentioned my uncle earlier, but he's like writing a book in the way that I was writing a book in middle school where it's kind of like, are you really writing the book if you haven't touched it in forever? <laughs> And we're writing two totally different books. Two totally different genres. It, yeah. Um, but I would love to talk to more people who are beginner writers like myself, who are working on YA books or even, you know, YA fantasy books because that is what I am focusing on. I would love to hear about your writing process, any tips that you have for me or anyone else who watches this video. Because again, I am not an expert. I am literally just coming on here and telling you what I am going through. And maybe you guys can relate. Who knows? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we will see you all next time. Bye.